alarming news out of Ukraine. There are reports Russian missile, missiles have struck a children's and maternity hospital in the city of Mariupol. Officials have tweeted there are multiple injuries. President Vladimir Zelensky called the attack an atrocity. He demanded the world stop ignoring these types of terror attacks, and he's also pleading with the United States and NATO to close the airspace over his country. Authorities in Ukraine also say power has been cut to the defunct Chernobyl power plant, site of the world's worst nuclear disaster. They warn without power to cool spent nuclear fuel, radioactive material could again leak and spread across parts of Europe. The International Atomic Energy Agency says with ventilation systems not operating, more than 2,000 people working at Chernobyl could be exposed to dangerous levels of radiation. The site was taken by Russian forces on February 24th, but the plant needs constant management to prevent another nuclear disaster like the one in 1986, when one of the plant's reactors exploded. Vice President Kamala Harris arrives in Poland later today. One of the issues at the top of her list, Poland offering to give Ukraine Soviet-era planes. Originally, Poland planned to give Ukraine MiG fighter jets because Ukrainian pilots already know how to use them. The U.S. would then replace those MiGs with, with used F-16s. The Polish government wants to send those jets to Ukraine from a U.S. base in Germany, a move the U.S. has rejected, saying it could bring America and NATO indirectly into conflict with Russia. Meanwhile, Russia's assault on Ukraine is moving forward. The southeastern port city of Odessa is bracing for a Russian attack. That is where CBS News foreign correspondent Chris Livesay joins us from today. Hi, Chris. So tell us how people in Odessa are preparing for Russia's potential bombardment of their city. Are you seeing terrified citizens? What is the, you know, what is the, what are you seeing there on the ground? And tell us why it is so crucial from a strategic standpoint that Russia does not take this port city. Well, we're seeing a city that's half deserted and preparing for an onslaught. On Sunday, President Volodymyr Zelensky warned that Russians were planning on bombing this city. In fact, that it was imminent. The importance of it can't be overstated. If the Russians were to capture this strategic port city, it would effectively have a stranglehold over everything coming in and going out of the seaports here. It's effectively the last seaport in the country that Ukraine still has full control over. Other places like Kherson, uh, further east, and as you just mentioned, Mariupol, which is under heavy bombardment, are, are effectively taken out. They're no longer functional. And so th to protect this city becomes even more important for Ukraine, as it depends on it, for crucial supplies. Uh, it's also important to keep in mind how important this city is to Russians. It was founded by Catherine the Great in 1794 and holds an extremely important place in uh, Russian lore. So it's very clear that uh, Vladimir Putin wants to get a hold of it. It would give him control of the entire northern half of the Black Sea and put a lot of pressure not just on Ukraine, uh, but NATO members as well that share the Black Sea, places like Bulgaria and Romania. Uh, and it could potentially create a link uh, with separatists uh, that are in Moldova. There's this breakaway region called Transnistria that abuts right up against uh, this area of Ukraine. So strategically, it is extremely important. Ukrainians are doing everything they can to hold on to it. And Chris, turning to Chernobyl, what can you tell us about the situation there and the effort to reconnect the plant to the power grid at this point? Uh, right. Well, that is a, a very alarming situation. Now, fortunately, there are uh, diesel powered backup generators that are keeping it supplied with power and able, enabling it to to keep those reactors uh, or to keep the site cooled. Um, but it is imminent. I mean, those those reactors are only meant to be there in an emergency situation, uh, really, for no more than than 48 hours. The foreign minister of Ukraine called it barbaric uh, that that Russia is still holding on to it and putting them in this situation. In fact, from the very beginning, the strategic importance of even uh, capturing Chernobyl was, was very questionable, considering that it's no longer active. It's no longer generating energy for the country. 
country. Uh, it's effectively uh, sort of like a gun being held to the head mm -hmm. of Ukraine and, and even the world when you consider the impact that this would have. It's being held almost for uh, just to terrorize the local population. So it's something we need to monitor very carefully. Absolutely. An incredibly perilous situation. Chris Livesay in Odessa, Ukraine. Thank you so much and take care.